what inspired you to work on developing indigenous CAR T cell therapy? Uh, cancer is mainly treated by chemotherapy, surgery, radiation, etc. And all of these platforms, they are not really curative platform, but they extend life by few months to few years. This CAR T platform, which is uh, recently approved in US, etc., and the Western country, this is an intent to cure platform. It's a curative platform. At least it has potential to cure many patients, if not all. And the idea when I came uh, from Harvard to here and joined IIT Bombay as a faculty member, then we saw that in India, these are the chemotherapy, etc. They are mainly used, but these curative platforms are not available at any cost. And the major hurdle in India is cost of these drugs, which are in millions of dollars. So we decided to work on this curative platform and uh, thought like if we develop this indigenously, this platform will be accessible and affordable to our patients. What were some of the most exciting moments in development process of CAR T cell therapy? And how did you celebrate once you knew you had a breakthrough? It's a hard question because entire journey was, I think, uh, very exciting. And if you see right from the R&D to translational work and coming lately to clinical and now we are in the marketing phase, all I think this uh, life cycle of this uh, product development was really exciting. And I think every uh, phase of this development has certain excitement times and of course many, many failures. So we enjoyed, I think, all the excitement as well as failures. So I can't pinpoint the one, but I am definitely very excited to make it accessible to not many patients, not only in our country uh, or not within the cities, but also like tier two cities, tier three cities in the country. So all patients can access it. And also now we aspire to go to the global. That means we want this CAR T affordable treatment to everybody who cannot access these very expensive treatment as of now. What makes indigenous party cell therapy unique and for or more effective compared to other treatments? Yeah, it's also an excellent question that where, what are the differences, what is out there uh, in our product versus the others. So in our limited phase one and phase two clinical trial, at least we have done around 70 patients so far. What we have seen until now is that efficacy wise, that means the patient respond to this therapy is quite comparable to the data which is already published by Western countries. However, uh, which is really remarkable and very important, the toxicity profile uh, that when you uh, give a uh, drug to the patient, it of course it cures the cancer, but there are side effects as well. In our drug, we have seen very very less side effect, especially one of the fatal side effect, which is neurotoxicity, or in technical word, it is the ICAS, which are very very less or almost negligible in our product, and that's what we are very excited about. And in fact, uh, this is probably the one of the novel point of our product that our product is as efficacious or comparable to what is out there. At the same time, it is less toxic, especially at neurotoxicity, grade three of fatal cytokine release syndrome, which is one of the another side effect of CAR T cell threat. Uh, doctor, uh, can you explain how CAR T cell therapy actually works for blood cancer patients, like in a very layman language, CAR T cell therapy is a personalized treatment. So it's a personalized treatment. It's a live drug, which is unlike the other chemotherapy which we take. You have to take them periodically to get rid of the disease. However, CAR T is a personalized. That means it is patient specific. For every patient, we have to take out the blood. Then this immune cells from the blood, they are genetically modified the lab to make them cancer fighting cells. 
Once these cancer fighting cells are made in the lab, they are infuse them back into the patient. And then they try to find the cancer cells in the body and kill them. So in a very simple language, it's a personalized medicine, genetically modified in the lab and infuse them back into the patient. And these cells, they live long enough in the patients and keep killing the cancer cells. So patient is cancer free for long duration. And that is the unique point about gardening cells. What are the three biggest challenges you face during the development process and how do you overcome it? Yeah, so any, I think, product development or especially this kind of very high-end and complex technology development, that there are so many barriers at every stage. So right from the funding uh, for the R&D, is a huge challenge and in our country, especially the low source settings, the funding is a significant component of the product development. And of course, it is a challenge. Then comes the infrastructure challenge because now you can see that our beautiful facility is a large facility. And, but in the beginning, we did not have a good infrastructure for the, this kind of product development. And then another one is come regulator. A regulatory infrastructure, this is a very complex drug, as I said. It involves gene, genetic engineering, cellular expansion, and many uh, other technology. And the regulatory infrastructure, when we started the work, it was not right. So, in the, while the product was developed, I think country now has the regulatory guidelines how to develop these technologies and make it affordable and accessible. So, we had our barriers, you call it, or obstacle in infrastructure, funding, as well as regulatory. But good thing is with the teamwork of Tata Hospital, IIT Bombay, and the recently Lawrence Lab also invested in us, we all work together to get rid of each obstacle and only looking forward. Uh, what advice would you give to young researchers interested in pursuing ca career in cellular therapy in the therapy? So for young researchers, I think that one of the most important thing is keep stay focused and also collaborate because collaboration is the key for, I think, in these kind of complex product development and complex technology development. What I think we did differently or we did, I think, uh, make a good decision that right from the beginning, two academic institutions, IIT Bombay, as well as Startup Memorial Hospital, we collaborated together, brought this R and D, uh, this product at the R and D stage, and then we had the Immunoact, which is the company which I co-founded with few others, and this company, supported by the North Labs, then did the translation research and uh, completed phase two clinical trial and basis that now we have the uh, product finally in the market. So collaboration is the key in this kind of product development. I think that's the very, very important thing I think young researchers should think of. What is the next step for Immuno Act? Oh, are there any upcoming developments or research projects related to CAR T-Cell therapy, particularly in which is like cycling? So Immuno Act, one of the biggest I think accomplishment Immunoac has is the technology platform development. We have the platform technology now. On that platform technology, we have our first product in the market. In the, but the foundation is technology platform development, which we already have. On the similar platform now, different product will come for different oncology indications. Our next product is a BCMA card for multiple myeloma. We are also working on the different solid tumors. Hopefully in next one year, some of those will also translate into the clinic. We are also now working on NK card platform. So NK is another type of uh, immune cells, which are natural killer cells. Hopefully we will come up with those new products sooner. And this platform technology right now, whatever we are talking about in our college, but this has humongous potential in autoimmune disorders, infectious disease, as well as even cardiac fibrosis, heart attack. So right now we don't have it on the immediate of short-term uh, goal, the heart attack is not yet in our portfolio. 
But in the future, I think this platform topology has a huge potential and we will be working on all the different indications and you'll be on our college. How do you ask question? How do you see uh, indigenous fatty cell therapy impacting cancer treatment in the next decade? Actually, this is a very interesting question. And if you see the CAR T or the cell and gene therapy, it has been so far only for the elite because extremely expensive and only available in very developed world. Involvement of India will democratize the entire CGD space. I think this would be a huge, I think something big coming from our country that if India gets involved, CGT in the CGT space, CGT entire platform CGT can be democratized, making it accessible, affordable to very large number of patients. And I think we can save millions of lives and that would be a transformational thing. And it will impact the, I think, uh, mostly the entire world in a very positive way.